there. Here's an idea you can do with your child, and it's just putting out paper and crayons and markers and just letting them color whatever they want. Now, of course, when children start coloring, sometimes their pictures look like this, just scribbles. And that's great. That's just fine because that is the beginning stages of drawing and coloring. Okay. Now, when your child's drawing and coloring, you can talk with them about how to hold the crayon. Now, there's different sizes of crayons. There's some that are a bit that are really thick, and you can get some ones that are big and thick and fat and chubby. And then there are these ones that are thinner. So you start off when your child first starts drawing and coloring, get those big thick crayons, okay, because it's easier for them to manipulate and hold them. And then talk with, instead of having your child hold it like this, when they get a little older, like four years old, they can start holding it like this. Okay, so talk with them about that and show them how to hold it. And then as they begin to draw a little bit more and the muscles in their hands are building up, they start, the pictures start to look like things to us. Now to them, this may look like the most beautiful picture they've ever seen. And you can just ask them, so can you tell me about your picture? Instead of saying, oh, okay, it looks like a bunch of scribbles. But to them, it doesn't. And then later, you know, their pictures will start coming to life and what we see. You know, maybe a tree or something like that. Okay? So, I hope that you remember to just put out those markers and crayons and let them just draw and have a great time.